guys, it's me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. As you guys know, I dyed my hair in January and I went pink. And since then, I have been on a hunt for products that will A, maintain the color of my hair, and B, maintain the health of my hair. And I feel like I've gotten to a good place with the products, so I decided to do a little hair update because you guys have been asking for it. But first, don't forget to subscribe down below. Beauty With Me comes out every single Monday at 11 a.m. Please make sure you are part of the family. Without further ado, let's get into my hair routine. Before I dyed my hair, I washed my hair pretty much every single day. I have had a very oily scalp, but now that my hair is a lot drier, my hair is absorbing a lot of the oil that my scalp produces, so I only need to wash my hair about twice a week. So before I even get in the shower, I always put on a hair mask. It's called the Mask for Beautiful Color. I just put it in my hair dry. I can't be bothered to put a mask in, in my wet hair, and sit around in the shower for like 10 minutes while it absorbs naked and cold. So I get a huge scoop full of it and put it into my hair, put it up into a little bun, and then just kind of do stuff around my house until it's absorbed. This mask is really nice. It is ridiculously expensive, but I do think it keeps my hair really soft. Then once I'm in the shower is when I will wash my hair. Now, I use this shampoo, it's called the Way Repair Shampoo, and it is so good. I don't know if this happens to you guys with double processed hair, but now that I wash my hair a lot less, I get more dandruff. So what I do in the shower, which I didn't do before, is I really give my scalp a good massage and a good like exfoliation when I'm doing my shampoo. But if you guys have any tips or things that I should be doing to keep the dandruff away, please let me know in the comments because I definitely haven't found a good solution for that yet. So after I shampoo my hair, I usually move on to conditioner. Now I know that I've already masked, so I already have the moisture that I need in my hair, but I use conditioner to inject more color. So I use this conditioner from Overtone and it's called the Daily Pastel Pink Conditioner. And I mix it with this other conditioner that's purple from this brand called Function of Beauty. Now, Function of Beauty is a really interesting brand because they customize shampoo to your hair type. So not a single shampoo and conditioner they've ever made is the same. I'll put a little bit of the pink conditioner in my hand and then a couple pumps of the purple conditioner in my hand to mix it together and smooth it through my hair, really working it in to every bit. And then I leave it in my my hair for about two to three minutes like while I'm washing my body or shaving and then I rinse it out. It won't dye your hair the like, two or three shades darker, but what it will do is inject just a little bit of color so that what you're losing when you shampoo your hair gets put back in when you condition. And that's pretty much my entire hair washing routine. I get out of the shower and I typically air dry. Madison, my colorist at Spoken Wheel, told me that after I got my hair bleached, I would notice a bit of textural change. So I have. My hair is a bit more wavy. It has a bit more of that beachy texture that I actually really like. I'll usually spend about two to three days just rocking my air dried hair. But then on the third or fourth day is when it starts to get a little bit greasy. So I'll use a little bit of dry shampoo. It is the Chlorine dry shampoo with oat milk. This is a non-aerosol version. So instead of having an aerosol spray, you squeeze it out and powder gets in your hair and you kind of like rub it in. I do find that this does a good job of controlling oil. It also gives your hair a little bit of grittiness. That's nice for styling. So toward the third or fourth day, when things start getting a little greasy, a little flat, a little dull, that's when I will pull out my straightener and style my hair. So before I straighten my hair, I'll use Nature Lab Perfect Volume Texture Mist, which is basically a liquid texturizer that also doubles as a color and heat protectant. So I'll just put this in my hair, let it dry, and then throw in some flat iron waves. I use this straightener. It's a bioionic straightener and it vibrates. You can like press a little button and it goes zzz, and it helps like move the plates along your hair. I like it because it is a nice like one inch and it has a tapered end here that makes it easy to curl. So John Raymond, who's one of the founders of Spoken Wheel where I got my hair colored, actually taught me this technique. So you can do it like this, where you're kind of creating an S wave in your hair, pulling it back and forth down and keeping the end straight. Or take it and twist it like this and then twist it twice. So what's so great about this technique is that it's supposed to look a little messy and a little tussled. You can do parts of your hair, but you don't have to worry about getting every last piece. And since my hair is, again, more textured than it was before, I find that I can just really focus on the front and get a bit of the back, and it'll be a passable look. 
So as the last step of my hair styling routine, I'll throw in a little bit of texture cream. Now, if you guys have watched my videos before, you might recognize this guy. This is the Verb Texture Cream. I did a whole video talking about those products. But this is just a very lovely texturizing cream. It's very soft. You put it in your hands. I usually scrunch up in my hair to give me a little bit more texture and volume. And then I'll take the excess and smooth down my flyaways. And what I love about this cream is it does give me a little bit of a PC texture without weighing down my hair, without making my hair feel crunchy. And that's what I love about it. So that's it, folks. I think I've done a pretty good job of paring it down. The routine itself doesn't take me that long to do, but I'm still constantly looking for new things to try. So if you guys have color-treated hair, you know any products that you think I might like, please let me know down below because I always want to try new things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys learned something, and I will catch you guys next week. Bye! Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know what you want to see next on Beauty With Me in the comments down below and click here to subscribe to Refine29 and click here to watch my last video. Bye!